All right, so we got week number five of Tech Tuesday. We're gonna go over compression fittings. So the reason we're going over compression fittings is we use these all the time in the home theater world. So whether it be a RG6 for your you know, cable box, whether it be a compression fitting for a subwoofer, maybe even interconnects left, right audio. So what I'm gonna do is go over a few of the tools and then I'm gonna go over a compression fitting and RG6 quad and then a uh, RG59, which is what we use for a lot of our subwoofers. And uh, I'll just narrate real lightly through the video and that's it. All right, so gonna go over a couple of the things we use. I'll do some links below on the tools. Uh, Klein compression tool. It's not what I actually use in my toolbox, but it works well. Klein cable stripper, that does work well. I do have one of those. And then uh, RG59 compression. Very common use for subwoofers, audio interconnects. That's an RG59 security lead with an F connector end on it. That's a BNC. Then you got an RG6 uh, quad connector. And then we're looking at another RG59, that's an F connector. And then a commonly used RG6. So you can use these for subwoofers and whatnot. And so what I'm gonna go over here is just a couple quick uh, things here, make sure there's no mistakes. So I'm actually gonna cut one of these wrong and uh, show you what it does to the uh, cable stripper tool. So I cut that at a 45, probably a 40 degree angle. And then as you watch me try to run my tool around this, you can see it's kind of wobbly and it just didn't get a full connection. It didn't cut off the uh, dielectric from it, didn't remove it from the copper there. So now I've cut one perfectly straight, clean my tool out. And then you can see it's perfectly straight when I'm spinning it. Spin it backward and forth a couple times, and you can see it's just a perfect, perfect straight thing part. The other thing you want to do is you always want the braid to come back off. You never want the braid to touch the copper, period. That's a short. So I always pull them back, make sure it's clean. And then what I'm going to also do here is I'll cut, I'll go ahead and cut my RG59 cable. I'm going to get that prepped here, and then we'll throw these uh, compression fittings on. So we use a uh, structured cable product. It's a braided RG59 makes an awesome interconnect. It also makes a very good subwoofer cable. We've done them in hundreds of jobs with no issue. It's uh, my actually my home audio rack uses all of them. So quick note again, the uh, 59 is a little harder to work with. So you really got to make sure that the braid, the outer silver conductor, is not coming over the dielectric and touching that copper. If you do, it's going to short. If you if you get a little strand, it might actually send some signal through. But you're going to wonder what's going on. So make sure it's clean. It's uh, pretty simple to do it, and uh, you know I know some even some techs are using magnifying glasses and stuff to make sure. So here I'm back jumping my uh, RG6 quad fitting on, and I want to show you two things here that guys make the mistake on. They either got the wrong connector, and what they're doing is they're not pushing it on far enough, so it's sitting back in there. It's got, not getting the copper, getting a full connection, or they're pushing it too far forward. So I just tried to show those two things. And then I'm using the same star in compression tool that I've owned forever. Um, probably going to be needing to get a new one at some point. And so you can see that that one's all built, ready to roll. And then I had to adjust that, by the way, as you probably saw. And so on the compression RCA connectors for subs, again, you just want to make sure that you got your center copper in there. And you'll actually know, once you do enough of these, you'll know when you've got it seated all the way into that connector you can see me i spun it and by it got a little bit looser that's what actually let me know that it was seated all the way and then again a full compression and now i got myself one part of a really cool rca you can see how hard i'm pulling on it probably hang from that thing it's super solid they don't they don't come off once they're compressed well and uh cool i hope you like it just a simple tech video a couple links to tools below if you want to get some uh appreciate it man have a good one